All right, guys, it's time to do a game preview for the big game tonight between the Habs and the Golden Knights. Game one of round three. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! I can't believe I'm even saying that. So if you're new around here, grab yourselves a beer and park that ass on a chair as we're about to chit chat a little bit about this series in general. And we'll take a look at the projected lines for tonight's game as per dailyfaceoff.com. But first, if you're a fan of the Habs or you've wiped your ass with maple leaves before ha please consider subscribing to my channel as i upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the ride and if you want to get in on some of the fun down there in the old comment section listen up okay listen up closely because this one is going to be a little different try and predict which player on either team is going to score the game winning goal the game winner Okay, who's it gonna be? And if you get it right, I will pin your comment to the top and give you a shout out in the game review for this one later. Well, this is definitely gonna be the toughest matchup the Habs have had in the playoffs. Vegas is built a lot like the Habs, okay? Whether you wanna believe it or not. They're big, they've got a deep team, but uh, they're kinda like the 2.0 version of the Habs. Or at least that's how I'm looking at things. If the Montreal Canadiens want any chance at all at winning the series, they're going to have to get in the head of Marc-Andre Fleury early, okay? And they're going to need all four lines on board, rolling nicely every night. Every line has to be productive, as hey, the fourth line has done a hell of a job since the playoffs began, but personally, I'd like to see a little more out of the third line. Now, as for Vegas, it's a similar story. They're going to need to get some pucks past Price right away just to build some confidence in themselves. They're definitely going to be using their size, making life difficult for the Habs defenders. And uh, honestly, I think this series is just going to be one big war. So with that out of the way, let's have a little peekaboo here at the lineup, shall we? And boom, look at that. These are the lines that I stole from dailyfaceoff.com. Yeah, a bit of thievery. If any Vegas fans or Habs fans here know of any changes, then hey, let me know in the comment section. And by the time you guys get to see this video, I'm going to be at work. And you guys can keep me updated on all the changes. So starting with the Habs, the top line is going to be Phil Deneau between Arturi Lekkonen and Brendan. And Gallagher. That's the line that I've dubbed the Steve Irwin line because they just shut shit down, okay? The second line, and the most offensively dangerous line that we have, is Nick Suzuki between Tyler Toffoli and Cole Caulfield. Up next, on the third line, we've got Yasperi Kotkaniemi between Pa Byron and Josh Anderson, and these guys are gonna have to put out a little more this series. I know, that might sound cruel because they've been doing a pretty good job, but I just wanna see some more goals. And the fourth line, that pretends to be a first line sometimes and I'm fine with that is Eric Stahl between Yoel Armia and Corey Perry and these guys have been money during the playoffs for the Golden Girls, I'm just kidding. For the Golden Knights, we've got Chandler Stevenson or Carl from The Walking Dead between Max Pacioretty and Mark Stone. And believe me, Pacioretty is gonna be hungry, like I mentioned. Line two, we've got William Carlson between Jonathan Marchessault and Riley Smith. The third line, we've got Nicholas Royal between Matthias Janmark and Alex Tuck. And keep an eye on Tuck. This guy is an animal. And the fourth line, speaking of animals, we've got Keegan or Coleslaw or whatever the hell his name is between Will Carrier and the not-so-tame animal Ryan Reeves. Moving on to the defense pairings. We've got Ben Sherratt paired with Shea Weber for the Habs, of course. These guys are going to be chewing up a lot of minutes. The second pairing, we've got Brett Kulak with Joel Edmondson, but this could change as Jeff Petrie is really close. And the third pairing we've got listed here is Alexander Romanov with Eric Gustafson or Gustafson. For the Vegas Golden Knights, we've got Alex Martinez paired with Alex Petrolangelo or Donatello or Michelangelo, some kind of Ninja Turtle savagery. But these guys are going to be the minute chewers for this team, okay? Beasts. Pairing number two, we've got Braden McNabb paired with Shea Theodore. And finally, for pairing number three, we've got Nick Holden paired with Zach Whitecloud. Anyway, guys, that's it. That does it for this game preview. I hope you all enjoyed. And hey, I'll see you next Next time, don't forget to predict who scores the game-winning goal to this game. Boom!